joining a fiberglass pipe is a very simple procedure. Steve's going to show us how to do a butt and strap joint. The standard procedure for joining two fiberglass pipes to get a leak free joint. Uh, the integrity of any joint is determined by the, how, the, the cleanliness of it. Um, consequently we need to remove any sort of uh, foreign material which could interfere with the joint. Chamfered this edge here is to uh, give somewhere for the filler to go. It makes the jointing easier and stronger. Use the hardener to approximately 4%. That was 4% of the practice time. So we're going to wet the pipe out before we start applying the strap. This helps with adhesion. And it is essential. Wet our mat out. For some reason on the table. Offer your mat up to it. That's all you need to do. Make sure it's wet. You don't want any dry spots. Now, stagger your mat. If you don't do that, you end up with a, a patch on your joint that has more than the rest of it. And you'll find you get a hot spot, which can cause a fracture. This eliminates most of the air before we offer it up to the pipe. Lift your pipe, lift your mat up. Get it up as fast as you can because this is breaking down all the time. Find the centre. Just roll. Roll that on like that. At this stage, we try to roll all the air out. You'll find that if you go this way first, then you push the air out to the sides. You eliminate all the air. Come down underneath. Smooth, steady strokes. Then go sideways to push the air out to the side. Five mat worth of strapping. Same process again. Wet the table. Wet your mat. Push it ahead with your with your brush. Once again, stagger your mat. And roll the air out of it while you've got it on a hard surface. Pull it up. Now, when you offer this to the pipe now, start in a different place to where you did last time. Last time I started up here, now I'll take it down a little. That eliminates any build up. Okay, so that's the completion of the strapping of the of the mat. After that, we have what we call tissue. This gives you a nice smooth finish and also enhances the chemical area. Just wet it out with a an almost dry brush, covering completely your mat on both sides. You'll find that this stuff stretches quite nicely to do this for you. 
go. Once again, we just roll the tissue out. Following the same procedure as last time. Here we have a finished product. Um, this should be stronger than the original pipe because we've got this, the strapping around it. Uh, all that we need to do now is wait for it to fully cure. Then we can sand it back slightly and apply either a hot coat or a wax coated finish to it. And that's the completion of the job.